During an interview about his role at startup company BetterUp, Prince Harry was criticized on social media for recommending people to leave their professions in favor of improving their mental health. In his role as chief impact officer at Silicon Valley tech startup BetterUp, Harry gave career advice to those stuck in jobs they don't like in an interview on Monday. Just over a year after he and wife Meghan Markle left the UK to start a new life in the United States, the Prince joined Better Up, a coaching and mental health organization. Many people around the world are stuck in jobs that don't bring them joy, Harry says in the question and answer. But they are now putting their mental health and happiness first by quitting. He also stated that the numerous job resignations that occurred during the COVID epidemic aren't all bad. He noted in the interview with Fast Company, while it may appear that the previous few years have pushed all of these difficulties to the forefront, the truth is that these struggles and issues have been simmering for quite some time. We're only at the start of the mental health revolution. Because people are finally paying attention, this job has never been more vital, and a significant part of this purpose is raising awareness and continuing to lead the conversation. Thanks to a conversation with Better Up Science board member, Adam Grant, I recently realized that many of the job resignations you cite aren't all terrible. In fact, it's an indication that self-awareness is accompanied by a desire to change. Many people all across the world have been stuck in occupations that don't make them happy, and they're now prioritizing their mental health and happiness. This is a cause for celebration. Better Up, which Harry joined in March, focuses on coaching people on their mental health in order to improve their performance. It provides personalized support and services that strengthen mental fitness, in order to help customers unleash personal and professional performance. I intend to help create impact in people's lives, Harry previously told the Wall Street Journal, explaining his decision to take the post. Proactive coaching opens up a world of possibilities for personal growth, increased awareness, and a better life in general. The CEO of the corporation has been tight-lipped about Harry's remuneration. However, Colin Plamondon, a US-based app investor, recently told The Mirror that the royal celebrity might result in handsome pay of £500,000 to £2 million per year, at a minimum, including salary and stock. Since leaving the royal family last year, Harry and Meghan have taken on a variety of new positions. They've also invested in an ethical investment firm and signed multi-million dollar contracts with Netflix and Spotify. Following the interview, Netizen slammed the prince's remarks about quitting your work. How would he know? remarked royal scholar Robert Jobson in response to Harry's statements. You don't get any more privileged than telling people to quit their jobs when they weren't born into wealth and need to pay bills. Another individual commented. A third joked. Obviously, he's speaking to the fortunate few who, if they quit their jobs, wouldn't have to worry about bills, mortgages, or feeding the kids. Most people are glad to have jobs after lockdown was lifted. Another user commented. Prince Harry has never had to worry about a roof over his head, bills to pay, or food in the refrigerator. Most people have to work longer than 9 to 5 these days to make a livable wage. Another person was quick to criticize the prince's remarks out of the loop. They explained, Prince Harry's advice to those who are unhappy to just quit their jobs for their mental health may be the most out-of-touch thing he's ever stated. It would, he's right. But he's forgotten that most of us don't inherit millions or have the financial means to invest in high-end products. The Prince previously discussed his mental health in a documentary with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year, stating that his family had shown total neglect for his mental health issues. He talked about his mental health issues and the trauma he's been dealing with since his mother, Princess Diana, died. Both Harry and Meghan have spoken publicly about their mental health issues. Meghan, 40, revealed to Oprah that she had been dealing with suicide thoughts since joining the firm in their explosive conversation. 